Hello, my name is John Sikoris. It's my beautiful wife, Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today, we want to talk about a great mother of antioxidants, glutathione. Glutathione's awesome for everybody because it helps with antioxidants in the system. That's the oxidation in your system it helps with. It also helps with getting rid of free radicals, boosting the immune system. It's good for the skin, for the brain, and it actually does a great liver detoxification as well. Um, we've used it on a lot of our patients. Our doctors are, are very, very big advocates of glutathione. It's a natural way. It's already produced in the body. So, uh, you know, we want to share this information with you. If you're looking for a great therapy like that, then glutathione is definitely where to go. It also helps with inflammation throughout the body. So, you know, if you do have any, you know, previous injuries or say you have an autoimmune deficiency, Lyme's disease, Crohn's disease, all these things that they tell you there's nothing that they can do but give you a bunch of prescription medication is actually an all natural way to, you know, kind of help your day to day and give you a little bit of energy boosting and hopefully help with some of that, you know, some of that chronic pain that you, you know, feel on a day to day basis. You know, another great thing is, is day to day, if you have children and they're going to school like we do, right, they actually bring home those little cooties and you get sick. <laughs> Um, and it, it puts you down, it puts you back a couple of days. So glutathione actually boosts the immune system to kind of get past that. You'll actually feel better or, or get better faster. Um, you know, we we're big advocates of it as well. Um, glutathione can help with a lot of different things. If you're traveling or constantly on an airplane where there's a bunch of germs everywhere, mm -hmm. that's definitely a good reason to take glutathione every day too. You know, obviously you're traveling, everybody gets sick when they travel, they're touching everything, you know, planes, airports, everywhere you go in an airport is absolutely, you know, full of germs. So, you know, if you're traveling, definitely a good one. You know, if you're a CEO, you're an athlete, you know, um, whatever you do and you're getting on a plane, you're going somewhere and it's gonna take a wear and tear on your body, and you know you're going to be sitting next to somebody that's got cooties, make sure you take some glutathione. Okay. On this island in Turks, and this is the menu. So if it says famous burgers, I'm gonna eat one of their burgers. And we're gonna document and see how it is. What do you think? Yeah, you think it's gonna be good? I think it'll be good. <laughs> I think Big Al's burger's gonna be good. We will see. I'm gonna have a shake. I'm My expectations see. are extremely high. Extremely so high expectations. I mean, we're gonna have to see. We'll have to see. What's the best burger you have? The other um, way? honestly, hmm. I mean, homemade's the best, right? Yeah, but I don't cook, so, hmm. Probably somewhere between, but I would say BurgerFi when they did really good with their burgers yeah. because like maybe a year ago, their burgers were on point, like yeah. super on point. Yeah. So the best burger would probably be there outside of, the, now this is Florida though, you know? Cause I mean, I think in, uh, in Colorado, yeah. Co oh. <laughs> so they, they had, had some good, good right? burger places in Denver. Yeah, good. Denver had some good, good ones. Yep. So, so we're going to see how this is. You know, I'm super picky, so don't take my advice. Um, but we'll see. Big Al's. We're going to see what their famous burgers are all about. Now when we get burgers, we're just going to get, I'm going to get cheese on mine. <laughs> and a little bit, um, I don't know, we're going to see what kind of ketchup they have. <laughs> Because it will make a difference. If they have just regular Heinz with high fructose, I'm not going to have it. I'll you going to ask have, them? I'll just have the cheese and the burger. Are you going to sure. ask them? Absolutely. Are you going to ask them, like, hey, do you have high fructose corn syrup in your ketchup? No, I'm going to ask them, are they serving Heinz ketchup? And they're going to say yes. And then I'm going to say, hey, is that the natural Heinz? And they're going to say no. And I'm going to tell them, don't worry about it. <laughs> so you're really setting yourself up to not get ketchup. At least I'm asking. I'm gonna, <laughs> not assuming, okay? What happens when you assume? You never know. Uh, we all know what happens when you assume, Don't ever right? Assume. We always, always know. Always ask. Always ask. There's not a dumb question when it comes to that. Right? So, anyways, these burgers are going to be really good. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm just sure of it. Really good. We're going to see if they're really good. They're going to be. We're going to tell you guys if they're really good. I don't know if they're going to be really good, but 
We're gonna see. Now, what are you gonna get with the side? Are you gonna get fries? I'm gonna get fries and salt. The crinkle fries or the waffle fries? The shoestring fries? Have, wait, sweet they have potato pine, fries? They have pine? Mango coleslaw. They have pine onions, hey. Yes. So hey, if you where, 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 where? This is where free Rita is fundamental, guys. I didn't get to read yet. That's a problem. Served with <laughs> choice of. And we're gonna see what it's served with. So I, I'm probably gonna get the shoestring fries. I'm gonna, you know, live dangerously today. You know, I know a lot of people get the uh, sweet potato fries or maybe the waffle fries. See, so what had happened was, is that when I order burgers, and this has happened since McDonald's days, is that I don't like anything on my burger. So all I like is the burger and the bun. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that's so complicated to like understand. But like, you know, when I'd have to take my burgers back to like Burger King or McDonald's, I'd be like, yeah. it's just the burger and the bun. I don't get it. Like, why are you putting onions or like ketchup or like whatever on my burger? It's just the burger and the bun. Yeah. Not that complicated. Yeah. So what I started doing is I started telling them I'm allergic to whatever is in the actual burger. So today Ooh. they delivered potatoes and in the potatoes they put green onions and peppers. And I told them I'm allergic yeah. to the onions. So they wouldn't take it back and like wash them down and give them back because then I would that, die. That's disgusting, right? Die. Yeah. I would die from my allergic reaction. It's nuts. It's definitely nuts. It's I mean, terrible. You know, this is terrible. When you ever order food, guys, if there's a problem with it, it's best just to take it off the bill. <laughs> uh, because, them trying to fix it. because they'll just usually wipe it off and then bring it back to you or if you <laughs> diagnose you what. Um, that's why you know I like to just eat at home. I, I, I tell Shrews all the time, and this is the best way to do it. I know, but, but John's such a good cook, though. You like well, you guys don't always have good cooks at home. I just I just so happen to have a professional chef. His name is John Sigourney, <laughs> and he cooks really well. He just doesn't promote it. Yeah. So well, I'm promoting for him. Yeah, I, I keep it all to myself and all for him. <laughs> But we are creating diet programs for people. So Absolutely. That's, that's what is that? Uh, TitanMedicalFitness.com. .com. Or they can go right to the TitanMedicalCenter.com site, and there's a tab on there for fitness now. Oh, wait. That, that's the app that, okay, so real quick. So it's the app that, like, creates different types of diets depending on, like, what you like to so eat. Actually, it's programs, and these programs are created for custom diet programs for people, right, based on their allergies, what they like to eat. You know what kind of diet they want to do maybe it's keto cav, cav uh, carnivore uh maybe it's just general nutrition right? so what if they uh, what if they don't know what they're like allergic to well, i had an allergy I mean, test you can done. do an allergy test with really blood it was really cool guys but usually people at this point know if they do have an allergy or not sometimes because you don't across. well i mean that, you really that's don't one thing that you can blood test for but the programs will you know create those diets for the people so they can do what they need to do and these these diets are really easy to, you know, basically. Okay, seriously though, right. we do offer a blood test and I have to like tell you guys about this. So we offer a blood test and in the blood test, it tells you like what you might be. I don't like using the word allergy because it's not an allergy, it's hypersensitivity. So you're hypersensitive to whatever. So like my blood test came back and it said that I'm hypersensitive to, <laughs> it sounds insane, <laughs> to yeast and bananas. But this means if I decided to drink beer or have any risen bread or anything like that, this could be why I don't feel good. It can make you feel tired, make you feel lethargic, that kind of thing. Nauseous. It can actually cause bloating. For it people. really can. It can make you not just so, just not feel. It doesn't good. Doesn't always mean. You but know, no, your I listen. I truly believe in this hypersensitivity test, and that's what I call it. I don't call it an allergy test because you would die. You would need like plenty of Benadryl. Yeah. But it's a hypersensitivity test to see like you know if you if I was to eat yeast and then try to go out in the town, then you know I would look bad. It's because I would be bloated right. and retaining water and all these other fun yeah. things. So, you know, get it tested. Yeah. They test for everything. Why would you just not test for it and see? Might as well. Right? John was sure. clear. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. No allergies to any molds, dust, yes. nothing. No bananas. I'm allergic. Hypersensitivity. Call me Iron Man. To bananas. How can you be hypersensitive to bananas? Oh. It's banana. Well, you never know where those bananas come from. Genetically modified. Who knows? You know, they might be. They might be. <laughs> all those little uh, pesticides. They're not good for you. Not good for you at so all. We're still waiting on our meal here. Um, actually, we're waiting on for the waiter to come take oh, yeah. the meal. We haven't got any. We haven't even ordered them yet. So we'll see what Big Al's gonna do. Here. We're ready. Thank you. So she's got her burger, but my burger is gone. We're not here because. They messed up on my burger. But her burger looks good. 
Fries look good. She's got some shoes trained. We'll see what Big Al does. Stay tuned. Okay, so the burger came back. Teresa has her burger. It's Wait, clean. you gotta eat it? No, 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 no. So, in order to be skinny, I'll look half good. Don't eat the whole bun. Okay. There's two sides of the bun, right? This is Teresa's trick. So you only eat there. one side of the bun. You can take a bite. You still get the whole bun like taste without all the carbs. Right. Don't take no. Couple fries. And you can't eat the whole bun and french fries. That's just not acceptable. Not okay. You're not gonna get very far. Right. So just toss out. Okay. Put that to the side. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hey, John. Okay, so I got And my the burger. tables have turned. Yeah, it's fine, because I'll tell you guys all day. So I got my burger, check it out. So I got a uh, slice of American cheese on there with just the, the hamburger meat, right? The beef. And then nothing else on it. We want it as plain as possible. So I got my burger back, and I just want to show you what's on mine. So people ask all the time. So I got some American cheese and then the beef, just the beef. Um, nothing else on it. The more plain, the better for you, I mean, not to say it's the best, but the more better it is. You know, you want condiments in there because some of those condiments have high fructose corn syrup, a lot of sugars, different things in there that are gonna really go against what you're trying to do. I mean, you're trying to be healthy, you're trying to be leaner, whatever it may be. Um, there are a couple of fries over here, I'm gonna do some fries, but the plainer, the better. So this burger actually looks pretty good. And you can tell like, you know, it, it's like a handmade burger because the, it's not like a perfectly circular burger, right? You can tell it's like you know it's not perfect, but it's it's a beef patty, so it looks really good. It looks pretty lean from what I can see. I'm gonna taste it. We got a medium, um, so yeah. So this is like us eating out, and we don't like to usually eat out a lot. But if we do, it's good, a good burger. Man, it goes a long way because McDonald's, Burger King, and stuff like that. Those big fast food places. Um, it's just not what we want to eat. So this should be really really good, and I'm excited to eat it. So. Let me take the first taste and I'll tell you exactly how it is. It's actually really good. <laughs> so, not too peppery. Pretty good? Oh, yeah. Fries are okay too. I still like uh, hand cut, you know. You're only going to get a couple of those. I can see that. So maybe a couple of those, but the burger was the real thing we came for. It's pretty good. So when you're eating out, pay attention to these things. You know, how your burger looks, how long did it take, you know, what they're putting on it. Make sure you're setting yourself up for success. And this shouldn't be a daily thing. It should be like maybe one of your cheat meals or one of the things, the days that, you know, you're laxing on the diet per se or on vacation. This will definitely come in hand. So you can eat kind of healthy, you know, and taste really good. That's what it's all about. So, hopefully it's, you know, it just keeps getting better and better with these burgers. Burgers, a good burger is hard to find, <laughs> you know? Even when I'm, you know, I'll make burgers rare at home because when I'm cooking, I'm usually cooking the steaks. Steaks I'll cook, I'm good for like at least three or four days where I cook 10 to 12 steaks. I'm rocking and rolling. White rice, even if you don't make it, you can order from a Chinese restaurant off Uber Eats most likely or one of those places and they come fresh every day if you want to hear it like that. Or you can cook it yourself, save yourself some money, and you guys can put that in some Tupperware. You guys can make that meal for yourself every, I would say at least breakfast and dinner. And then the middle of the day, if you're working and you can't get home or you didn't bring your meal that day, you can have Uber Eats deliver you guys some grilled chicken from one place and white rice from another. And you guys get it and it's fresh and you guys can eat that lunch and you guys can change it up if you guys can't eat steak every meal or you don't want to because a lot of people can't stick to those diets you know it's just not realistic for them for me it's very realistic and that's what i usually do even if i'm on vacation um i go on vacation i'll, I'll get some i'll go to the grocery store grab some lean, lean steaks and if i can cook them somewhere you know because most of the times i go somewhere they usually have an oven or something in there where they have to cook um, that's definitely the way to do it guys for sure and if you guys haven't seen the steak video, I'll be posting that up so you guys can look for 
deals and how to get the best leanest steaks from your own butcher or your supermarkets. So stay tuned for that information because that information will go a long way and that's what I used to do. And that's what I still do today, all right? So these are real things that you guys will love and take great advantage of if you guys use the information that I'm giving you. Hey guys, John and Cherise here, another Cupid's Corner, and we're coming to you from our 12th anniversary, our little vacation, we're a little trip away, we, we barely get days away, so we thought we'd do it, you know, organically, in, in the moment, and have you guys see how we are, just relaxing here. My blankie. That's where it's really about, vacation should be about relaxing, so at that point we're here, and we want to bring up some more tips. They're going to help your relationship, you know, reach the best possible place it can get, okay? Maybe these things will enhance your relationship. Maybe they'll reignite some things or maybe think about some things that you and your partner should really be doing or, uh, you know, recreate that bond again. So the first one, obviously, since we're here, would be take a vacation. <laughs> Take a couple days. It doesn't have to be an extreme place, right, Therese? No, it doesn't have to be somewhere like far, far away. Because we live in Florida. We actually live in Tampa, Florida. And even if we went to Clearwater or St. Pete, which is actually maybe like a 30-minute drive, it's not that far. It's still kind of on the beach. It's away from people. You can go anywhere that's secluded. I know even like in Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. that they have these places like up in the mountains where you can only go like 35, 45-minute drive but you're secluded to some degree where yeah. you're not like around a bunch of people. You can kind of be with each other and really just enjoy that time with each other. Yeah, I think it's important just to get away, to isolate yourselves away from everybody else um, and really, you know, just have each other and, and kind of relax, de-stress. Mm -hmm. Get those cortisol levels down. Make sure you guys are healthy um, together. And at that point, you guys can really have a great relationship. So it's important for you guys to have a little getaway of some sort you know, get that bond back together. Do some things that you guys like to do. Um, if you guys have had a long relationship, you guys should know a lot about your partner, what they like, what they don't like. So why don't you guys plan some things that you guys enjoy together on these trips? If it's just relaxing in the bed and, and, you know, just hanging out, that's a good thing too. Which, you know, I mean, which brings us to our next, next thing. Bin watching. Oh my God, it's my favorite thing ever. Right? So, you know, I mean, that that's a very inexpensive <laughs> way. If you say, hey, listen, John, I can't take a vacation. I can't afford a vacation. Right? Which I we can't were get there away. at many, 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 I, many, 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 many points and times we have been there. Yes. So, you know, at this point, you guys can find some episode that you guys like. You guys should have some common interest in that, I would think. At least one show or two. There's Netflix, there's Hulu, there's all types of things out there. They're very expensive, even if you got them for a short period of time. You guys can enjoy this marathon, marathon together. You guys can snuggle, you know, get back to each other, you know, just kind of relax and not have to worry about anything. If you guys have kids, you know, have a babysitter for a couple hours, or, you know, maybe ask a parent or somebody supportive. If you guys don't have anybody like that, there's probably some websites out there that can help you, okay? Not only that, though, honestly, even when, I'll be totally honest with you guys, even when me and John, like, binge watch, binge watch some things, yeah. we are in our room, and our little one, which is 10 years old, he's yeah. downstairs playing his video game, because he doesn't want to come upstairs and watch our, what we're watching. Yeah. So it's fun to watch things with your significant other. You guys have Uber Eats, you have 
DoorDash, you have whatever other dashes and whatever food places that'll bring you food yep. that you can just hang out in bed and do nothing. It is yep. so nice, especially even you people that work the nine to fives, the regular eight hour shifts, yep. eight hours can really feel like 20 hours to a lot of people because it's such an intense job. So. It's nice to just have that little bit of time and, you know, binge watch anything. Honestly, guys, even if you didn't enjoy or really like what your significant other wanted to watch, just be there and watch it. Eat the food. Eat the food. Enjoy the Uber Eats and just sit there, cuddle, eat the food, and just pretend to enjoy it. There's got to be something you guys <laughs> both can find, though. I really, I, I think that you guys should, tr should try to find something together. So you're not bored or you're not, you know, you guys are both, right? Because that's really what binge watch is about. Cause you, I mean, think about it. If somebody had to sit there for eight hours and they're like, this is not what I want to watch, you know? And I, I, I know, like, Sharice doesn't like, like, westerns or, like, old movies like that, like, old-time movies, like, in, in shot like that, but... You know, so I don't try to you know watch those movies around her, even though I like some of those movies. He might try and justify it to me. Yeah, yeah. No, like this is gonna be great. Oh, like five really minutes. Really good. Like, mm, no. You know, I'll tell her, but you know that's what see it's that's what it is. So that's not gonna work. So. But then I order Uber Eats. Yes, and everything's Uber Eats. fine. So yeah, I guess Uber Eats or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, that could definitely help. I, I think that might be a way to go. So take her advice on that. Please take my advice. It's yeah. really great advice. I promise. Come on, Netflix and chill. There's a reason that stays out there. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really good. It's really good. All right. So for our third topic, you know, do you want to introduce this topic? I'll let you introduce. Okay. it. Okay. So the grass is always or is never. not. Never. It's not and always. It's never greener on the other side. Is you guys will always take a peek over the fence and you'll think it's greener. And yeah. you're like, oh my goodness, it looks so soft. I want to just roll around in it and just <laughs> jump around in it and roll in big circles. No. And then you get there and all of a sudden you need the whole dose, double dose of Benadryl oh. because you have broken out hives oh. from this horrible grass and you oh. went over to the other side. Oh. It's like going over to the dark side. You guys ever watch Star oh. Wars? I know you guys have watched Star Wars. Some of you guys have you have it i know you know there is a dark side over there the other side of the fence is the dark side do not Don't go the dark side do not do not well, let it fool you listen this is what it is so this saying means if you don't know we'll break it down for lameness terms so if you have somebody that you really really like you really love and you're with them um and you see let's say you're a guy with a girl right mm -hmm. and you see this other girl out in public and you think that that's going to be better than what your current situation is. You have no idea about that girl, her mental stability, physical <laughs> stability, uh, disease free, um, you know, <laughs> how you're going to get along with that person even, you know, at that point. Um, so you and you're already comfortable with the person that you're with, per se, and you're, you're taking them for granted. All right. And, and all the other stuff that you've been through with that person, if it's good, then obviously you don't want to ruin that. 100%. So don't think that, hey, listen, this next situation is going to be better than my current situation. It might be in minimal circumstances, but majority of the time, no. They always are people, my friends, I've had a lot of friends, you know, you know possibly cheat on their girlfriends. Mine too. And at that point, you know, they find out and they break up. And it's because, oh, I got this other girl, man, and she's this, this, and this. You know, and, and this is a very short time he's known this person. You know, I've had some guys that have been in seven-year relationships that do this with somebody uh, over a one-night stand type deal, and it really doesn't work out for them afterwards at all. But one is, is because it creates a, a, a distrust factor with the person that you currently might get with because you cheat on your current girlfriend mm -hmm. with that person. So, and if you do it to them, you'll ooh, do it to me. So insecurities will rise uh -huh. there. I mean, that's just one thing. But, you know, you, you take for granted some of the other things that your partner may be doing for you. And, and that's really what it is. Just because, hey, listen, this looks really good. Uh, I'm just going to do this real quick and, and I'll, I won't even worry about the consequences or whatever is going to go on. So at that point, don't think the grass is always green on the side of the fence because usually it's not. <laughs> you know, like I said, minimal. You might, you might. It's a it mirage. Might be there. It's a mirage. We were talking about the other day. <laughs> you, you asked me. Yeah, that. yeah. So, yeah, Shreese, I couldn't think of the word. She's like, yeah, it's a mirage. You know, think about it. You're out in the desert. You think that there's this big shiny palace because you're dehydrated. You're about to have heat stroke. I need an ice cream with and a you cone. You get there, and it's not. It's more sand. You pick it up in your hands. You're like, oh my god. So. 
at that point, don't fall for it and don't always think the grass is green on this other side of the fence. I would say like maybe 5% the grass is greener on the other side. You might be in a bad relationship yeah, where the grass is actually true. greener on the other that's side. True. So let me not say it in every situation. Yeah. But I do think in a lot of different situations, you guys think that the grass is greener on the other side. It could be with your job. It could be with your husband or wife. It could be with any situation whatsoever. Oh, jobs. That's, that's jobs are way. huge. It's, so, you always think the grass might be yeah. greener on the other side. You go to the other side and yeah. all of a sudden, it's like, oh my goodness, I have 10 times the work that I right. thought I was going to have and I'm getting less pay. Right. Or <laughs> it, it might be, hey, listen, they're going to offer me more pay and you're, you're getting 10 times the work, right? Yes. Or in that circumstance, you might not get along with the people in your work or you just don't like the job. Yeah. It might be something that you totally unexpected that you have to do and you're like, man, this was not worth it. You know, so it, you really have to think about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and really take an account with what your current situation is. You know, if it's a business thing, does your employer take care of you? You know, do they go out outside the realm of, of some of the other businesses? Because I've worked in corporate, you know, companies uh, along my life. I worked for private before Titan. Uh, and at that point, you know, corporate companies never really took care of me the way that a private company would take care of me. just a number, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so the top of the, the food chain did not know my name or who I was, you know, and I, and I did really well. Uh, but there's huge companies and huge, cor huge corporations where you don't get that. Where in a private setting, you know, you can come to that person and really have a personal relationship, which we do with our patients here at Titan Medical Center. And that's, that's a huge Even thing. Even with our employees. We yeah. have a huge personal relationship Absolutely. with our employees. I mean, why do you think we have a lot of the employees that have been with us forever? Yeah. So it's the same thing, guys. It yeah. doesn't always mean, listen, I'm not telling you guys you can't have a step stool for... Yeah looking over the fence right because there's a fence and you want to look over it it's right. natural to want to look over the fence mm. but when you look over the fence just know that there's a lot of roundup over there Ooh. and lots of chemicals Ooh. and maybe some you know non-gmos who <laughs> are you watching live yeah night? yeah we're, wa we're watching something about gmos and uh and how it gets it mixed in the regular food supply because they're all going to to one place and get distributed out or per se a lot of a lot of different things that, we're going to apply that to this analogy yeah so yes. we're, and you just know, stay on your step stool yeah. stay off do not yes. hop over the fence yes you know, i mean all right to look but walk by and, and say hi and that's <laughs> it and gotta go you know don't get yourself caught up no. and don't ruin a current good situation that you might be in if you're in a bad one then you need to get out of it anyway don't use that as an excuse to get out of it you should be doing it for yourself and, and what, what's going on in the current situation right i agree so these are the tips that we broke down for you today. I hope you like these tips. We're going to have more tips coming up, right? Yeah, 100%. Actually, stay tuned for the next episode. We might tell you guys some little secrets here on how to maybe not demean your significant other yeah. in public, in yeah. front of the children, in front of family members, in front of friends. Yeah. There's a lot of different things that you really should apply to the relationship, but yeah. you may not know. Yeah. So we'll be happy to share that with you on the next episode. Yeah, being passionate, loving your partner. That's what it's all about, guys. We'll see you on the next Cupid's Corner, Sunday at 11 a.m. See you then. See ya.